Yo, so it looks like this week is all about surprises. Surprises that I did not know about, but you know, it is what it is. Let's start the show. Welcome to The Heat Check. I am your host, Jacques Slade, and as you can tell, I'm not in the usual studio today. I'm actually in the hotel right now in North Carolina, but like last week, we're gonna get this show going, but also like last week, not a lot of releases on Wednesday, so let's start on Thursday. Starting with Thursday morning, we have the Nike Air More of Tempo 96 in the renowned Rhythm colorway. The Air More of Tempo 96 has been getting a lot of love over the last few years, and Nike's not really flooding the market with this shoe. They're kind of putting out colorways here and there. This red and white one really pops, and I actually like the way this one looks a lot you can grab those over at finish line for $160 if you have the finish line app there's going to be an exclusive release of the Nike Air Vapor Max 97 for $190 this is the hybrid version of the Vapor Max that mixes it with the Air Max 97 and this is one of the cooler colorways that I have seen so far of the shoe so if you're looking to grab those again those will be an exclusive on the app so make sure you download the finish line app if you want to grab those keeping with the Thursday releases we have the Puma Espandrier I don't know how to say that, so I'm totally guessing. These will be dropping in three colorways. There is the black, the drizzle, and the sulfur springs. Those will cost you $100, and they look like they're just the right type of shoe you need for the summer. Well, especially for the ladies. Sticking with the Thursday releases, we have a special release for the ladies in the Air Jordan 11 Low Rook to Queen. Now this model is inspired by Maya Moore. In her rookie year, her team actually won the WNBA championship, which is obviously a big deal. And so this shoe celebrates that moment. You can grab those on Thursday morning and those will cost you $175. If you like running on the trails, the Nike Air Humara shoe is dropping. I haven't personally done a lot of running on trails, uh, but these definitely look interesting. Those will cost you $140. Now the Air Max 98 is having a very special year. It's obviously its anniversary from 98 to 2018. And so Nike is giving this shoe a lot of love with a lot of different colorways. A lot of those colorways have been dropping in the last few weeks. And this Thursday, we have some more colorways for both men and women, which bring back the spirit and life of the shoe. You can get the men's pair for 170, while the women's pair will cost you $160. Coming up on Friday, we have the Nike Air Maestro dropping in the Hyper Jade colorway. There's actually been a couple of Maestros dropping over the last few weeks, which makes me think that Nike is cooking up something. You can grab these for $140 over at Finish Line. Now, for you runners out there, the Under Armour Hover Phantom is dropping in two new colorways. I've actually had a little bit of time to run in the Under Armour Phantom, and I really like this shoe for my short distance run. I've done probably up to 10 miles. There's two new colorways, one black and one artillery green, and if you want to grab those, those will cost you $100 and $30. If the Nike hybrid shoe is more of your speed, the Air Max 97 Plus is dropping in the Bullet Shark colorway. Those will cost you $175 and definitely have a look that is all their own. And rounding up the releases for Friday is the Nike Air Foam Posit 1, but this one is strictly for the women. I really like this off-white slash tan color that they're using on the upper of this shoe. If you check the heel, it has a little bit of a reptile print right there, and that kind of matches with the name, which is called Reptile Splat. Those will cost you $230 if you want to grab those for the lady in your life or if you're a female sneakerhead and you just want to rock some foams. Okay, for Saturday, there are really three big releases that you should be checking for, and one of those is the LeBron Zoom Generation. Now, this model is the SVSM, or St. Vincent St. Mary version of the shoe that a lot of collectors really want to get their hands on, so it's pretty cool to see Nike actually bringing this model back. That one's going to cost you $175, and you can grab that on Saturday. There's also a new Kyrie 4 dropping. Now, when it comes to the shoes that are priced in that $100 to $130 range, the Kyrie 4 is one of the best in that range. This black colorway is dropping on Saturday and something you should probably have in your collection or something that you should put on the court. So if you wanna grab those, those will cost you $130. And finally for Saturday, we have, I would say the biggest release of the week, which is the Air Jordan 11 cap and gown. It's summertime, a lot of people are graduating and Jordan brand is kind of jumping into the fray with an all black version of one of the most hyped shoes ever there, Jordan 11. Uh, this is a premium version of the shoe. They've upgraded the materials on the upper instead of Kadura mesh it is now suede instead of the regular jump man they added a metal jump man on the ankle panel so this is definitely a premium upgrade and it also demands a premium upgrade price so instead of the two or 220 which it has been the last few years this model is going to cost you 250 dollars when they drop at finish line on saturday 
All right, so that's gonna be the end of the show. As always, I just wanna give you the stuff that I think you'll definitely be checking for. If you haven't already, make sure you like, favorite, and subscribe, and also check below for links to all the shoes that I talked about in the video today. I am Jacques Slade. This is the Heat Check presented by Finish Line, and as always, guys, I appreciate you. I'll see you soon. Peace.